Welcome back to the Istaf meet in Berlin. Dwight Stones with Larry Rawson and one of the premier events of this meet, the men's 200 meters. Frankie Fredericks of Namibia is one of the athletes that's eligible for the Golden Four, but this man, the world record holder and double Olympic champion, Michael Johnson, set to spoil his evening. Larry sat down and spoke with him yesterday about his incredible 1996 season. What did you think when you were on the medal stand? What went through your mind emotionally? Uh, well, for the 400, I mean, it was just, I was just happy to finally win an individual Olympic gold medal and, and get rid of the fear of finishing my career without knowing what it felt like to win an individual Olympic gold medal. Uh, the 200 was just, you know, having made history and um, really the 200 after that, you know, being on the award stand was kind of, it's kind of different because I had done what I expected to do and I was really happy about that but the whole world record that kind of just threw everything off because I was still kind of just it was kind of hard to believe I mean it's kind of hard to to really it hadn't really sink in at what 1932 was all about you know what it really meant Frank Fredericks he's won three of the golden four Larry but my bet is he doesn't win tonight well you know, I, you and I were joking before that uh, based on the number of athletes left, six divided by 250,000, you get 40, maybe 50, 60,000 dollars. Right now, one guy should look at the other and Michael should say to him, I'll split it with you. <laughs> <laughs> Otto Bolden in lane five, he was the double bronze medalist at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. He's getting applause just as they're getting into the blocks. That's pretty cool, I like that. Excuse me, everybody. They're applauding me. Let me wave, and we'll come back to our blocks. That was a, that's a good move by Otto. Classy guy, very intelligent, wonderful future, age 22. World American records, of course, Michael Johnson set at the Olympic Games, 19.32. We've been talking about how we may not see that record approach for a decade. Dwight, doing some math, this is approximate. His last 100 yards, picture a football field, everybody. He's already burned 100 meters plus. His last 100 yards in about 8.35 seconds. Think about that. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 27 miles per hour, he was traveling down the track in Atlanta on the way to his second gold medal, a 400-200 double that has never been accomplished by a man in the Olympic Games, and now he's done it. Really, the only thing left to do is for him to break the men's 400-meter world record. Giermund from Norway. Why should some guys look at that good, Dwight? Well, they put him out in lane eight, so we don't have to look at him for too long. <laughs> He's a good runner, though. European champion at 200. And Johnson's out of the blocks a little bit late, a little bit like he was in Oslo, Norway. The only race he's lost all year to Frank Fredericks in this distance. It's going to be Fredericks and Bolden on the turn first. But now comes Michael Johnson. It's Johnson in three and Fredericks in four. It looks like it's going to be an upset. Frank Fredericks will win his share of the $250,000, 19.97. The time is meaningless. Fredericks beats Johnson twice in the Golden Four, over 200 meters, and no one more surprised in this stadium than me. Well, you know, as I mentioned uh, at, early in our show, that both men had slight injuries. And I talked with him last week in Brussels, and he said, my leg is a little bit sore. And yet, Michael Johnson is a man of total confidence. He said earlier, nothing stops me, and he believes it. Yet, both of these men had uh, slight injuries. What impressed me most about this race, the man with the best strength is Michael Johnson over the last 100 meters. 400 meter strength, we've talked about it all summer long. Yet, this man came off, what, inches in front of him with 100 to go and held him off. That is amazing to me to hold off Michael Johnson over the last 100. All right, now take a look. On the inside in red in lane two, that is Drummond that could out much better than Johnson. Johnson did not run a good 100 meters for him. And at that point on his outside, Frank Fredericks was kind of the gold top. Otto Bolden are in front of Johnson. The margin of the lead is probably just inches, but there Michael makes his move, and Frank Fredericks senses it in response. Watch the accentuated arm action on the part of Fredericks. Look at him lift and pull with his superior 100-meter dash speed, and he holds him off, the man who is so strong over the last 100 meters of a 200 race, and he basically gave... Michael Johnson and in your face with the arms in the air. Remember, Michael did that last week at 400 meters to the rest of the field. And that, that is a, that's a real insult in a way to do this. Unnecessary, 
but it shows the intensity and the ferocity of, in a sense, maybe the competitive fire between these two men. Wow. I remember Michael Johnson did have an injury in that 200 meters at the Olympics. It took about two weeks off his training, but no excuses here. Johnson came here. He was defeated by Frank Fredericks, and Fredericks will get his share of the 20 kilograms of gold. An absolutely fantastic race. Many of the people in this audience stunned by the results, including yours truly. And Larry Rossin is caught up with our winner, Frank Fredericks, downstairs. <laughs> uh, take us through the race. You get out well? Yeah, I got a good start. And I was waiting for Michael to make his move at the turn. He didn't. So I know that coming off the turn that I was in good shape. I just tried to relax. And Michael moved up on me, and then I moved away, away again. But it was a great race. Huh? Everybody seemed surprised with 100 to go when he drew up beside you that you had something left with his great stamina. Did you? Were you surprised? Yeah, I mean, I know that I have a great finish, and I think it's Michael. He's not the type of runner that they can run with somebody next to him. Official results of the men's 200s. Frank Fredericks of Namibia, 19.97. Michael Johnson losing only his second race of the year, 20.02. And Otto Bolden, a well-beaten third. And Larry Rawson now has the man downstairs tough part of the race seemed to be the start and getting out well i think that i've lost some sharpness from having taken off a week and a half but i felt like i got out pretty good i didn't have a bad start so basically the whole race went pretty well for me it's just when you lose some sharpness you know you can't have that same type of click every time michael when you pulled up with 100 meters to you got up on his shoulder quickly with about 100 to go at that point, did you feel you might be able to hold him off in the sense that you were even, certainly? Well, I knew at that point that it was 50-50 because normally at that point, if I'm in that position and I feel good, I can carry the endurance all the way right. through because of being a 400-meter runner. But having not trained for a week and a half and not raced since the games, you know, I knew that maybe I, I, would, I might not be able to. The leg held up okay for you? Yeah, the leg feels fine, so there's no problems with that. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. 